What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, your host. So today Apple has officially released macOS 15.3 and in this video I'm simply going to be showing you all the new features and changes that this software has to offer. The first new change that Apple has added right here has to do with Apple intelligence which is now turned on by default so now there is no need for you to go into your system preferences and then go to the Siri and Apple intelligence tab and turn this on because this tab will by default be enabled for you and it seems like there is no need to be on a waiting list unlike what used to be the case before and if you are in the EU and you're wondering when Apple intelligence is going to be coming it's actually going to be coming in 2025 and it's going to include these regions so you can see Chinese India Singapore French German Italian Japanese Korean Portuguese and Spanish along Vietnamese are going to be getting Apple intelligence and the official release for those countries and regions and the greater part of the EU is going to be sometime in April this year. Another change that's here with regards to Apple intelligence whether it's iOS, iPadOS or macOS is the fact that Apple intelligence now almost requires double the storage that it did previously with like macOS 15.2 and that's of course across the board not that it's an interesting change but one worth mentioning when it comes to the mail app for ios it has the mail categories which a lot of people actually appreciate so if i click on the three dots right here you can see i have the ability to turn on mail categories but unfortunately when it comes to the mac os version that we have today it used to be in the code but with this official release apple has removed it but there is hope as many sources are pointing to an official release in april alongside the update that's going to bring apple intelligence to the greater part of the EU. This update also adds a feature that was previously available for iOS and iPadOS and that's now natively here on macOS 15.3 going forward and that is Gen Emoji support. So you can see here, you know, previously if you created a Gen Emoji on your iPadOS for iOS 18.2, you had the ability to add them on your Mac by selecting first or sending them to someone or copying and now we have native support for Gen emoji on macOS all you have to do is open an application or software that has the ability to send gen emojis or create gen emojis one of them is the messages app which I always use as an example so if I click on the emoji tab right here you can see in the top right corner we have the gen emoji icon and if I click on it now it allows me to create gen emojis natively from the Mac without the need for me to use my iPhone right here it says start with a few words or a phrase that best describes your idea you can see some of the few gen emojis that I created an egg wearing glasses a lion using a Mac and you can see a car on a sunny day these are just a few of the examples that I've been able to make but yeah feel free to create your on but keep in mind that from my experience and with this official release from what I've seen it's not yet polished sometimes it takes forever to load and sometimes it just doesn't generate anything at all so yeah just an FYI an application that recently got an update is actually the calculator app so if I open up the calculator app you now have the ability to continue repeat operations and there's a new pop-up screen that says mode menu create a math not open scientific calculator or do quick unit conversion this is one that you're going to see once you open up your calculator app you can uh, go there of course and change into the calculator mode and you know a lot of stuff which were always existing but the repeat continuous function that I want to show you here which wasn't there I actually didn't know and uh, you can see if I say 5 plus 5 and then hit the equals it's going to continuously add the 5 so you can see 5 10 15 25 35 45 55 if I continue to hit the equal sign let's say I don't want to continue adding 5 maybe I want to continue dividing uh, my value by 2 so you can see now it's going 2.5 1.25 0.625 and whatever your last action was or your operation was it's going to carry it forward and that's something that apparently wasn't existing and it's good to see that this has been added when it comes to the home app I'll be happy to let you know that there's now an update when it comes to automation and they've now 
now added the robot vacuum support so you can set it up across all your devices it can be ios ipad os even on the apple tv this is a feature that has been added so this is a relatively new addition to the apple ecosystem so not a lot of vacuums currently are going to be able to support this feature but once you have a supported vacuum and you set it up you can use it from your home app on your mac os on your iphone apple tv or if you set up the automation and you can set different schedules you know that will automatically set your robot vacuum in motion another addition that has been added to this update if we go into our settings right here and then go to the notification section now this was always existing where you have uh, notification summaries and iphone notifications which can also be summarized but if we go to the summarize notification tab right here you can see the wording has sort of been improved they just did a little bit of rephrasing and now it says summarize content in direct messages and groups of notifications making them more senate and easier to read and they've added a disclaimer on on the bottom of that that says summaries may contain errors and at the same time they've while you are able to get notification summaries for most of your applications and softwares that you set notification summaries from news and entertainment applications and softwares at this point in time have been turned off until further notice and this is all to do with uh, an incident that happened where apple did a notification summary and it turned out not to be a really good or proper explanation of what the actual notification portrayed and you know it made news and the bbc caught wind of it because of that news and entertainment have been turned off but it doesn't actually end there because if you look at the some of the notification summaries uh, that we have right here they've made a change where the notification summaries are now in italic so this is a normal notification of mark Grimman just saying hey ios 18.3 is coming tomorrow but then you see this one it's an email from newton and you notice that it's now in in italics and alongside that we have a new like glyph icon right there that's telling you that this notification has been summarized so that you are away and at the same time this may contain errors like the disclaimer mentions let me not forget to let you know that now with this update you have the ability to manage notification summaries from your lock screen so if that's something that you're into you have the ability to do that when it comes to image playground i'll be happy to let you know that it's slightly different it doesn't seem like the models generating the images themselves have been updated or changed it just seems to be now you used to prompts that most users put in and I think by now they have more data on what to do and they're sort of learning more to try and improve the prompts that most users sent so if you had an issue with image playground or you had generated something give it another try as there are slightly better results being obtained by different users here and also for me I tested it and yes the results are similar but slightly different in a good way not a lot of people are going to care much about most of these features that i'm showing you that pertain to apple intelligence notification summaries gen emoji image playground um, but all these features are only supported on macs that have apple silicon chips when it comes to the app store one of the things that i usually do after updating to like a big update like this i go into the app store of course and then i like to let me just center this function control and center you can see here I, I i usually get a number of applications or softwares that need to be updated in order to operate properly with the new software update so check this update in case um you know you haven't updated your applications and then update those that are pending and then at the same time if you are a person that has the apple arcade subscription i have a free trial but i'm not big into these types of games but if you were had existing games that you were playing on apple arcade some select games have received updates even though they were existing so they've added additional settings and they've also added more stages more levels to some of their apple arcade games and at the same time they've added some new games i think this uh skate city new york is one of the new games and we have this hello kitty island adventure if i go to the new games right here you can see three kingdom heroes that's also one of the new games and of course like i mentioned check your existing games to see whether they have been additional stages or improvements to those games. Something that's interesting about Safari, I actually thought Safari was supposed to be in dark mode because you know, you can see the Safari window is in dark mode itself. Uh, yeah, I am in dark mode. Um, 
to be cool to have you know the web page that you are viewing if your overall display setting is in dark mode it will be cool to have the web page dark too just just an fyi but something about this update that uh, was cool when the first beta came out safari had just turned i think 22 years old so and when they also updated the version of safari with uh, mac os 15.3 from version 18.2 to 18.3 and you can see the version right there and this is the associated build number that i have currently if you are a person that uses iphone mirroring a lot on the go in a cafe whatever you do i'll be happy to let you know that most icons apple default icons have been upgraded with the latest ios version and it carries over to iphone mirroring and now even in sub settings you actually have the ability to see dark icons as you can see which carried over with ios 18.3 and it's cool that the changes they have with the ios also carry over into iphone mirroring which is a pretty good uniformity in general just throughout the os there seems to be more more prominent mentions of Apple ID instead of Apple accounts so I don't know if Apple is probably going to make changes with regards to their accounts pretty soon and then there was actually an issue I was experiencing with this update when it comes to iMovie that has sort of been fixed so um, that issue pertained to like um, files that it wasn't being able to read and also Final Cut Pro seemed to experience an is that same issue to a degree where I would export files but then they would turn up unavailable like the source would disappear it was more prominent in iMovie but with this update at least the official release it seems to have been fixed since i haven't experienced that issue this bug was actually more prominent in the downloads file source so that at least has been fixed um, according to apple and then something i wanted to mention according to the release notes of this update apple says that this update includes improvements and bug fixes for your device so in terms of that and in terms of uh, the security updates there's a publicly available page that you can you know visit oh this page is actually in dark mode i like this man so the apple security is in dark mode and this page too well not so much but when it comes to the security releases apple will after some time update this page to reflect some of the changes and security patches that they've added and also with safari version once it becomes available then you can check the security release notes for safari 18.3 since that's the version of safari that's being carried by this update and you can see like for example with the previous mac os 15.2 there were a lot of security patches when it comes to this update some had to do with disk utility image io and then the ones that have to do with kernel these ones are actually pretty serious and you can see there's kind of a lot of them and some had to do with connectivity passwords among others so check this page after the update just to know you know a few minutes or some sometimes a few hours after the update to see what are the security patches that they've added when it comes to you know irregardless of whether it's mac os ios or ipad os because there's a lot of updates that are going to come out alongside this so that's about it for me when it comes to this update um battery life performance maybe after a few days of testing the official release maybe let me know if that's something that you are into like a geek bench score and uh, battery life versus screen time and um, if that's something you want to see comment it below and let me know what else you want me to test when it comes to this update before we move over to the next big thing mac os 15.4 that's going to bring i think it's being overhyped in my opinion but according to a lot of sources it's going to bring a lot of features to the mac so that's about it for me guys when it comes to this update if you like this video hit like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video